how much time do you spend during the day? Have you ever paid attention that I should have said this, I should have done that, I really screwed up. If I was a nicer son or a nicer father or a nicer mother or lover, if I did this, I did that, things wouldn't go wrong, things would have gone differently. How much time do you spend doing that? Or look at me, I made the right decision and I did the right thing and blah, 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 and patting yourself on the shoulder that how great you are and what great decisions you've made. You know, most of the time is that all these thoughts come for you that, okay, I got to I should be calling this person or I should be doing this thing, whatever that thing is. These thoughts keep coming for you. I should do it. I should do it. I should do it. And the feelings, thoughts are very strong and you go ahead and you do it. Okay. And then later, the same mind, the same thoughts, the same entity who was telling you do it, do it, do it, is beating you up for doing it. I'm going to use a very simple example. Let's say you have a sensitive stomach, okay? Very simple example. And if you eat ice cream, you get really bloated and your stomach really hurts because you're lactose intolerance or whatever is the, whatever it is. So you get these desires, these feelings like you really want an ice cream, you want, and you're really desiring, you know, some ice cream. So you get these urges and then you go ahead and you buy a pint of ice cream and you eat it all. And now your stomach is really bloated and you feel really sick and you hate it and you're really going through a lot of pain and that's going to take about an hour. And during this time, you start beating yourself up and all these thoughts come about that you're such an idiot. How many times your mind is telling you, have I told you don't eat ice cream? Ice cream is going to make you bloated. It's going to make you sick and blah, blah. Now you're beating yourself up. How many times have you done it or how many times you're doing it even now during the day that you do something and there's all these thoughts, feelings that you should be doing something. And then after you do it, you start beating yourself up. And that is with whatever, food, relationship, investments, whatever that is. Anyone? And pay attention of how much Pay attention how much of your daytime you're going to spend into this process. Take a look. Look at your mind because it's there and it's free and it's available for you. You can't escape it. Pay attention to it. Look how much of your time during the day you are in this place of battling yourself or this other part of you about things you should have done that you didn't do or if you didn't dif you did them differently or things you should be doing in the future which is definitely a projecting projection of the past. The other day I went and bought myself a pint of ice cream. I know very well my body can't digest it. I mean, I can, I can have a little bit, but not a pint. So 
I'm going there and buying the pint of ice cream and I'm telling myself that, okay, Zarathustra, you're getting this pint of ice cream. I'm going to eat all of it. And in one hour, I'm going to be sick. And I'm going to have belly. My belly is going to be bloated. And I'm going to be very uncomfortable. But I will not complain. So I go get the ice cream and I eat all of it. And obviously, for the next hour, an hour and a half, I have my belly is bloated. And I'm just very careful and watching the mind because the thought wants to come, you idiot, you went and bought this ice cream and you ate the whole thing and you, I'm watching it. The moment the thoughts start to rise and I'm like, uh-uh, hey, uh-uh. The belly is bloated and you know, you're kind of uncomfortable, but it was like, ah, it's enough to go to the pain of the body and I'm not going to let you beat me up. Because now I'm going to be suffering and paying five times or 10 times more for that 10 minutes that I was really enjoying the pleasure of senses. It was like, no, I'm not, I am not allowing you to come and do whatever you, I was fully aware. I walked into this in full awareness. I knew there's going to be consequences and that's it. Done deal. There was no story after that. If you pay attention, you're really honest with yourself because in this work, you're going to have to be really honest with yourself because it's self-awareness, self-realization. Because most of the time, 99% of the time, especially if you live in this society, if you live in the US, is you're trained to put your finger at other people. It's always someone else's fault. It's always some other situation. You're a saint. Nothing, you're, you don't do anything wrong. And in this spiritual path, you're just going to have to be really straightforward with yourself. And quit pointing finger at anyone else. Just look at yourself. Not, not saying you blame yourself. Don't take me wrong, but really mind your own business. Just be straightforward with yourself and bring your attention to yourself and pay attention. Look, look at the games that the mind starts to play and it creates a secondary reaction, which is suffering. It's different than pain. Yeah, you eat the ice cream, you had the pleasure, and now it turns to pain. That's a part of the deal. But then the mind starts to come and create suffering. 